morning um right now it's probably like 5 20 a.m in the morning um i have an orthodontist appointment and it's three and a half hours away <laughs> you're probably asking Diana, why is your orthodontist three and a half hours away that doesn't even make any sense well i got my braces in the summer of 2021 right yeah and i didn't think about the fact when i got my braces that i would have to keep going back and forth until my treatment was done which my treatment's almost done now but like it's freaking annoying so my appointment's at 10 30. under normal circumstances i would have left at probably like six to give myself some cushion but jojo's daycare doesn't open until seven so i literally can't leave until seven and i'm going to drop him off literally seven o'clock zero zero so that's what we got going for today. I'm eating some Eggo waffles and drinking some protein milk out of a red solo cup. Um, is it wise of me to drink something knowing that I have a very sm <laughs> Knowing that I have a very small bladder? No. None at all. Mind you, I told him to go lay in his crate. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go to my orthodontist appointment. Justin is gonna meet me at my ortho appointment and he's gonna take me out to lunch. Um, fun fact, Justin and I haven't done Christmas in like the past, in the past four years and we've been dating for five. And he got me a Christmas present and I forgot to get him one. And so now I feel bad, but. He's like, it's okay, but I'm gonna order him some stuff off Gymshark and he's gonna send me what he wants, but. <laughs> feel kinda bad. But anyway, so then after. Me and Justin have lunch. I'm going to drive back to Tuscaloosa, go and get Napoleon a birthday present, go pick up JoJo, meet Napoleon, go out to dinner and drinks with Napoleon, and then get ready for my first day of fourth semester of nursing school the next day. So today is going to be a, like, it's literally going to be freaking crazy. And I'm sitting here like, I, I don't have to get up and, and clean and, you know. Have y'all seen the video? <laughs> the weird out the little, um, I guess she's like half Italian. I and mean, she's talking to her, she's like making fun of her. She's like, I need you know, I need you know. And her grandma was like, you're not even saying words. And she's like, oh, Grammy. You know what they're talking about? That's, I feel like that's very niche specific. Anyway, so I'm going to eat the rest of my waffle. I'm going to get dressed. And then we're going to go. And another thing, I eat my waffles like a taco. I do the same thing with my pizza. It bothers Justin to know it and so I keep doing it. Y'all do not make fun of me but this song has been stuck in my head for like the past 30 seconds and so now I have to listen to it. Oh, please don't copyright me. Every time I turn this camera on I always feel so inclined to tell y'all my most embarrassing story so let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and get it out of the way. Um, this one dates back to middle school. Oh my god, do I have two embarrassing stories? I have two. Let's do two. Okay, the first one, which one happened first? Okay, I think this one happened first. We're not even gonna spare names because these names are like super generic. But when I was in kindergarten, there was this boy named Tyler. And this was the first boy that had like ever given me any ounce of attention. So of course as a five-year-old, I'm like, oh my god, like this man is literally about to be my boyfriend. Like I need to turn the mat up right now. So anyway, so he said something like I was pretty or something. And then he was like going around kissing all the girls in my class. And like at the time, it wasn't weird, but I was just like, okay, <laughs> it's going to be literally my turn. It's going to be my turn. I, like I'm up next. I'm up next. So anyway, come spring flame, he starts showing me a lick of attention. And so I'm just like, what? And he ends up giving me like a water bottle with some dirt in it because we were like talking and we were playing in the sand and whatever. We were like putting dirt in a water bottle and he gave it to me and I was like, oh my God. Anyway, he was like macking me this whole week. This whole week, y'all, mind you, he was macking me, macking me. And then towards the end of the week, like right before school let out, he was like, yeah, like I don't like you because we'll use a fake name. Sarah Sue has like really thin thighs and you have really big thighs and so like I don't like you and I I kid you not <laughs> it's funny but it's not funny I went home and I sat on the toilet and like you know how when you sit on the toilet like your thighs naturally spread I was like oh my god Tyler's never gonna like me because I have big meaty thighs oh my god that was a time where I let the boys win. 
because what Diana what are you saying what are you literally saying I, yo, I was so upset I was so upset and distraught and I let that man ruin me but if I could go back and tell little Jayana anything about that situation he comes back girl he literally comes back and tries to mack you down and you know what you do you stand up and you say <laughs> no thank you I'm like I remember this it's like get that dirt off your shoulder you gotta get it's five o'clock in the morning let's slow down but anyway yeah he did try to talk to me like when I was in high school and I was just like bookie <laughs> your time is up your time is up sorry you're lame you're lame you're lame your time is up um and he was like for real and I was like yeah for real <laughs> like you know so that was sick um what was another embarrassing story in the fourth grade again I'm not even gonna spare none y'all it's the way I'm trying to it's empty. It's empty. This is the water bank moisturizer by Laneige. If you don't have a girl, go ahead and go ahead and get you. You, you see how I'm using it. But anyway, um, when I was in the fourth grade, there was this boy named Caleb, and he was a dark-skinned little boy. Nothing wrong with him being a dark-skinned little boy, but I just feel like that's relevant to the story. Um, and ooh, it's still a little bit on the top, so I'm, I'm gonna keep the top. I'm gonna put the top back on because I'm gonna use the, the little residual that's on the top. Anyway, he was a dark-skinned boy, and y'all, he. <laughs> This man hated my guts. This man hated my guts and he literally terrorized me in the fourth grade. This is when I had my first bully. My first ever bully happened to me in the fourth grade. And I don't even remember his last name. So I can't even look him up on Facebook and like troll him and tell him how much I hate him because I literally don't know his last name. But anyway, he used to walk in class every single morning and we had assigned seats and he literally sat across from me in the room and he would walk up to me and he would say to me every single morning for an entire school year, you are the ugliest girl I've ever seen in my entire life and I hate you. He would say that every single morning y'all, rain or sh <laughs> rain or shine, no matter, no matter what, no matter what, if we had a field trip, he didn't care. If we had an assembly, he literally, he was gonna make sure that he walked up to me and say you are the ugliest girl I've ever seen in my entire life and I hate you and he said that for an entire year and like eventually I I had to get back at him I had to get back at him I had to, I had to stand up for myself and for the rest of the girls okay I had to and we were in lunch and it was like one of those days where like everybody and their mama was in the lunchroom so yeah I stood up and mind you this is fourth grade this is fourth grade it's 2008 and I got up in front of everybody and I said, <clears throat> cling, 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 on my little milk carton. I was like, I was just like, everybody to know that Caleb is an African booty scratcher. <laughs> Nobody talked to him for a week. This was serious business. This was literally serious business. He never bothered me ever again. He was playing checkers. I was playing chess, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway. He hated me. Um, he used to also tell me I look a lima bean. What, what I mean, I guess I kind of do, but I mean, what's it to you? <laughs> oh, let's let's date it back to kindergarten. There was this girl, and her name. Mm, I guess we're not gonna say her real name. Her name was Rebecca. I guess. Anyway, it was my birthday, and when it's your birthday, you get to be line leader, right? Well, as luck would have it, on my birthday we have a substitute teacher. I'm not thinking nothing about that at the time, right? I'm thinking about the fact that today is my freaking day, okay? Today is my moment to shine. And so we're getting ready to go to P.E. outside and everybody lining up and I'm like, I'm gonna just take my time. I'm gonna just take my time, you know what I mean? Because like, my my spot gonna be there, you know what I'm saying? At the front of the line. And so I get there and Sarah Beth, Mary Sue, what was that? Rebecca, yeah, she was at the front of the line. And I was like, I get in front of her, I, hello? And she started throwing a hissy fit, crying, screaming, 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 screaming. Girl, your birthday in March. It's November. You'll get your chance <laughs> next year. Anyway, um, so she started throwing a fit, throwing a fit, throwing a fit. The sub come over and she's like, what's the problem? What's the problem? And I was like, hello, ma'am. I'm the line leader. And this girl back here, her birthday's in March, so it's not her day to be the line leader. It's my birthday, so I'm supposed to be the line leader. And she was like, well, you can be the caboose, and Rebecca's going to be the line leader today. When I tell you her tears back up into her eyes, she was literally fake crying so she could be the line leader. If I ever see you again, it's, it's me and you, girl. 
it's me and freaking you. Because you knew it wasn't, first of all, you knew it was your birthday. You, 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 you didn't know the rules. So it's not like, oh my God, I literally didn't know anything about. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You just didn't want to see a black girl win. That's what it was. No, she was, she was very for the culture. Let me not even say that. But, <laughs> like, I'll never forget that. And when I see you, you getting the old wind and crank for real. Because you know I was supposed to be the line leader on that day because it was my birthday. Don't play with me, Rebecca. Do not play with me. But yes, I still hold that grudge to this very day. If I ever see you in public, I'm going to have to beat you up and then we can reminisce. But not before. We have to do things equally and in order. Okay? So, I remember that. All right, bestie girls. Good morning. Right now, it is 6.39. I'm trying to be at the dog place. That was loud. I'm trying to be at JoJo's daycare at 6.58 so that... He can be there and I can go where I need to go. I haven't even looked at how long it's going to take me to get to my orthodontist appointment from like, because you know, like Apple just updated. Like if you, you can say like, oh, I want to leave at this time and like arrive at whatever else time. I haven't looked at it. So we'll see. But I'm about to take Jojo to his daycare and I will pick y'all back up after I drop him off. Okay. So we made it to Jojo's daycare. It is 6.52 in the morning. Um, I just saw one of the people come out, but they're like moving the car or something. So I don't want to be like, hey, here's my dog eight minutes early. Um, so I'm just going to wait until it actually turns seven o'clock and then we'll go. And let's see, like if I put in my ETA to my orthodontist, like what is it going to say? Like, is it going to say 1030 like it needs to say 1030? Or is it going to say something bad? But it says I'll get there at 1023. So not bad. So I just need to make sure... I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Y'all, I literally can't do anything right. So, I forgot JoJo's leash at home. I was carrying 15,000 million billion things in my hand and I forgot JoJo's leash. And so I was like, well, what the heck am I gonna do? Cause JoJo is a fiend when he's at daycare and he sees he's at daycare cause he's gonna jump, he's gonna run, I'm not gonna get him. Ah! I left the leash at home. So guess what I had to do? I had to unbuckle his seatbelt and use his seatbelt as a leash. Oh my god. All right, girls. So it says that we're going to get to my orthodontist office at 1038. I'm currently loading it up with the new Alani new peach. So let's just see how fun this day gets. I have already so stressed out. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a taste test in my new knockoff Stanley. I, actually, this is better than Stanley because the color's cute. Uh, but this is the new Alani new juicy peach. It tastes like Fanta, like Peach Fanta. I like it, it's good. Okay, we're not gonna be stressed, we're not gonna be stressed today. We're gonna go to this orthodontist appointment. I'm always late, so it's not like, you know, whatever, but I feel like y'all also need to give me some grace because I live three and a half hours away. So, yeah. And this is, they said this is gonna be a longer appointment than usual, so, why? Apparently I'm supposed to be getting extra brackets on my back teeth, why? Leave them alone. <laughs> leave them alone anyway i guess we'll see what they say when i get in here justin's gonna meet me y'all it's cold it's like 30 degrees and i have on shorts <laughs> but i would prefer to like i need to be comfortable when i drive and wearing pants makes me very uncomfortable because i have a texture problem so i would rather just wear the shorts and be cold and then get justin to give me some sweatpants give me some sweatpants and then me take them and him never give me them back um yeah then then put on pants and be uncomfortable so yeah, I will see y'all when we get there. I love you. Waiting with your heart. Tell them why. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I made it to my orthodontist appointment. I'm literally seven minutes late, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay, Justin. Justin being my cameraman right now. Okay, so I went in there, and of course I was late. I was like seven and a half minutes late, but I had to sit and wait for like maybe three minutes, so like I wasn't too too mad. Then old girl who usually take me back she took me back um she was the girl when i had my stitches from when i got my teeth pulled out she was putting on my rubber bands and she popped one of the stitches and i was <laughs> um but she's she's been a lot more gentle with me since then um but anyway she took me back she took everything off and apparently i have like one of the thickest wires that come with braces they try to say my teeth was messed up i'm gonna send a picture of my teeth before but anyway um, so she took everything off and then I brushed my teeth and then Dr. Benny came over and they started taking brackets off and I was like, wait girl, am I literally about to get my braces off right now? 
no just kidding she wasn't supposed to take them off but he was like okay like i guess i'll polish you know anyway and so he polished two teeth and then he said something about like a black triangle which i see that whenever i'm flossing apparently it's supposed to close like the way that they rotated the new brackets so they did that um i got a new color i haven't even looked at it my head big it's like a light blue they gave me power chains on the top but then they gave me like regular braces on the bottom and i haven't had regular like not regular braces but like regular rubber bands on the bottom let me show you I haven't had that in so long. They also shaved my teeth down. I really don't know how I feel about that. But yeah, I can still taste like the gel. Like, you know, when you get your braces put on, like they have like the blue gel. I can still taste it in the back. It's really gross. Um, but as they were taking stuff off, and you know how I told her they'd be like, oh yeah, double X trick it down, square, square, double X do split, you know, for the placement. He was like, yeah, go ahead and repo both of them. Repo? My bills are paid. What do you mean, repo? I was so confused. Uh, I still don't know what that means to this day. And then she was like, okay, you can go. And then she was like, oh my God, wait. I forgot to do what he told me to do. It, literally, teeth would not have been rotated. And they would have been like, you're just not making progress. Anyway. Um, so yeah, Justin's here. And we're about to go to his house. And then we're going to lunch. So, I don't know where... Do you want San Miguel? Do you want San Miguel? What do you want? I can get you San that's far. No. I mean, we made a decision later. Which one do you want? It's really both the same thing. I mean, I was going to buy it. So, you're doing, which, which one do you want? The most expensive option. I actually think Taco Mama a little more expensive. <laughs> it don't matter. We can do that, Miguel. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go eat. And I'll update y'all. Read. Okay, bye. Okay, so we went to Justin's house because I had to get my Christmas present from him. I'm sorry, the lighting is like so weird. Um, but yeah, I had to get my Christmas present from him. He got me some, um, why can I not think of the name? The high top blazers. There we go. He got me some blazers. Instead of going to the restaurant we were going to go to, we're going to go to McDonald's because the McDonald's here by his house is so freaking good. And I haven't had it in so long. During the pandemic, we tore this McDonald's up. Like the $1 fries. Me and Justin was keeping this McDonald's in business. We was keeping the lights on, for real. Yeah. So, now we're going to go there, and then I have to race back home because I have to go and... Well, first I have to go to PetSmart, and then I have to go pick up JoJo, and then I have to go home, feed JoJo, put him in his crate, get him to lay down, and then I have to go and get Napoleon's birthday present, and then I have to go to Napoleon's birthday dinner. I, I'm unsure at this time if I'm going to be able to go out and drink with her because, again, I haven't slept since 3 p.m. yesterday, so I will be like over 24 hours of no sleep and my first day of four semester nursing school is tomorrow and we have a full day of classes and I just think I really need to sleep. I want to go out, but I just don't think that going out to drink is the best idea at this time. So I have a lot to do in a very short, short, short period of time. So right now it is 107. I need to be on the road by 144. So we'll see how that goes. Why are my eyes, my eyes are so sleepy. Can't be mad at me for like two months. Okay. <laughs> um, but we got McDonald's. I'm eating fries out of both the boxes because mm. <laughs> no, no. Um, because I deserve that. Mm. Yeah. Just to just traumatize me. So I just feel like I, I deserve to do this. But now we're headed back to my orthodontist office because that's where I left my car parked. So.
all right girls so right now it's like 1 42 so i have to be on the road in two minutes i also need to stop and get a little bit of gas not very much um hopefully i don't have to pee at all so here we go all right vlog so we have jojo jojo is covered in a thin film of red clay dirt so he feels very grimy so he will be getting a bath tonight so now we're going to take Jojo home we're gonna let him eat I'm gonna go to Target I'm gonna get Napoleon no I'm gonna go to Dick's Sporting Goods I'm gonna get Napoleon a Stanley Cup because what better way to be a Gen Z nurse than have a Stanley Cup so I'm gonna get her her first Stanley I don't even have a Stanley and I'm buying her one but anything from my girl okay really quick this is the haul of what I got I got this lavender hat for me it's not for her um and then I got do not play with me lights i got her this cream long sleeve nike where's the nike sign there it is it's very light cream nike and then i got her a little stanley they didn't have like the big 40 ounce they only had the 20 ounce and it doesn't have a handle but i feel like it's good enough um and then i got her a nike hat in cream and it says just do it on it you kind of can't see but it's fine and so i'm gonna put all of that in here my car is literally a freaking mess i'm so stressed out i hate being late to things i hate having a million things to do throughout the day but it's fine it's my best friend and i love her and it's gonna be fine i also hate parking downtown and we're the restaurant that we're at is literally downtown oh my gosh everything is gonna be fine i just need to stop stressing out so much but i can't that's why i am it is literally my human nature so we're gonna go um yeah let's go uh, Happy birthday, oh my god, it's Napoleon, oh my god, <laughs> <I'm free. laughs> All right, bestie girls, so we just finished eating. The waitress ended up asking me if I was TikTok famous, and I said no, which is what I always say, and Napoleon was like, yes, she is, yes, um, <laughs> which is fine, I thought it was funny, um, but so she was really, really nice, and so I tipped her very well, because why not anyway um napoleon she didn't look at her gift so she doesn't she doesn't know what it is um but i had a great time i met two of her new friends and then maddie was there and it was just a great time so now i'm gonna go to target because i need to get jojo some dog food and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna freaking relax finally okay so we are going to pet smart instead of target a because it's closer and b because it'll make sure that i don't buy anything that i don't need even though i love buying jojo stuff he doesn't need so this is the dog food that i get jojo it's the blue buffalo puppy chicken and brown rice recipe i always get the biggest bag because he goes through well it's actually not the biggest bag but i'm not paying 60 dollars for dog food i'd rather just pay 30 dollars. so here we go Okay, so I kind of started doing a lot of things at once. I just gave Jojo a bath. His bath water ended up being like a rusty red color because of him playing in the red clay dirt all day. There's the aftermath of his bath towels. But yeah, now he's eating. I'm going to clean out the tub and then I'm going to take a shower. Okay, so we are going to call this editing Jayana, but I never made an end to that video. Y'all, this is literally like almost a week later. <laughs> it is January the 16th. That was taken on January the 10th. Anyway, so um that night i literally just laid down and i went to sleep because i had the worst headache and i was so freaking tired but i hope y'all enjoyed the vlog i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all later bye